So you got? He's like a gazelle. No! Go slower! Go slower! I don't fancy his chances. It is pretty blooming rough down there. Go on, Hank. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. Is it going to be more gnarly, mate? Please stop saying gnarly, mate. The gravel bike, a bike that can do just about anything. Road, trail, off-road, on-road, you name it, the gravel bike can do it. When us roadies think about discovering and exploring, we think the gravel bike, don't we? Strap some bags to it. Hey, presto, you've got a bike that can take you anywhere. Ah, oh, I like it. What? Oh. oh, come on, mate. You roadies, you think you can just put some knobblier tyres on your road bikes and that's it? Hey, presto, I can go anywhere. Oh, who, who invited this guy? Well, this is obviously Richard Payne from GMBN. What you need, mate, is something like this. Oh, no, mate. Look at it. That is That has got inefficient written all over it. Come on, Rich, look at it. This is an adventure bike. The gravel is the future. No, oh. no, sorry, mate. Uh, it's got two handlebars still. I bet your tyres have still got tubes in. And is that two chain rings on the front? Right. In order to put this feud to bed, Rich and I have travelled to Abergavenny, a town located in the south of Wales, and for many, the gateway to remote adventure riding. Mm, that's it. And we're going to finally put to bed who's got the best bike for going on an adventure with. I, it's me, mate. It's me. No, it's, it's me. It's, it's me. me. No, I, I am. In order to put these bikes to the test, I have devised a route that will take us from here all the way to our finish point at a reservoir where there is a bothy for the night. Except that it's shut because of the COVID restrictions. Anyway, there we will see who is the winner and who is the loser. And then watch and see. That's right, Hank. On the way, we'll face some challenges. The winner of each one will get a point. Most point wins. Least points, well, they're going swimming. Which bike is more efficient for the mile munching? Which bike handles that gravel the best? And which bike handles those steep climbs better? And I'm looking forward to this one. Rough technical terrain, Hank. Oh, and when we just can't ride the bike anymore, which bike is better to hike with? Ooh. 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 God. Before we get going, though, the first challenge is to load up our bikes with all the equipment needed for our adventure. And what bike, you may ask, will I be riding? Well, this is the Canyon Grail CF SLX. Full carbon, lightweight and agile. With a 22-speed Shimano GRX Di2 group set to give me a massive top speed and some little gears for climbing too. And in order to hand all that rough terrain that Rich and I will be riding, well, I've got the hover bar as well. Ah, yeah. Woo! Yes, Hank, you may have the hover bar, but I have my Nukeproof Reactor 290 factory. Full suspension bike with a mahoosive 130mm travel at the back and 140 at the front. I can basically jump and roll over pretty much anything. Yeah, I guess I was always going to lose that fight, but when it comes to weight, well, it's like David Beckham on a penalty shootout. He never loses. This frame weighs 830 grams. <laughs> ah, yeah. But as for weight, well, I'll give you that one because my frame and shock, 3,600 grams. Oof. Now, for our jaunt to the hills, we probably don't need that much. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to load up our Pro Discover bags. Neil and Sai went to Iceland, so I went to Iceland too. Only this time I bought a three course Christmas dinner. Josh Ibert did his 1200 mile GB Enduro and carried enough food and kit for it on his gravel bike. So I have a feeling, well, the gravel bike's going to win it. Win this first challenge, yeah? So we haven't got enough food for 10 days in the wilderness, but then again, we have got enough food for a good old fashioned Christmas dinner. What have you got there, Rich? Well, I think I'm glad you asked, because actually to start with, we've got some lovely pigs and blankets, a little bit of hummus, and of course, the camembert as well. And for Maine, well, we've got ourselves a turkey, because no Christmas dinner can do without a bit of turkey, and some potatoes. Love oh. it. Right. Well, Hank, don't get too excited, we've got dessert to come here. And for dessert, what have we got here? Cheesecake, 
mince pies, and of course, Christmas. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mate, that sounds beautiful. And I did get some wine, but I didn't know if mountain bikers drank wine, so I got you a beer. Oh. Right, are you ready to get packed up? I thought we were going to eat this now almost. <sighs> no, yeah. mate, we got through some challenges to get through first. If it, all this survives our challenges. <laughs> Let's get packed up. Yeah. Right, mate, you ready? Come oh, on. Hey, hold Ken on, bud. Uh, oh. Got these, the little mince pies, and I finally find a use for this hover bar, look. Let's go. You just posed it. I don't know if they're going to last that long there, but uh, we'll get there a go. Right, you ready? Let's go. <laughs> oh, oh. Adventure. It's got adventure. It's got soggy. It's got wet. <laughs> <laughs> For this challenge, it's all about speed. We're gonna hit the asphalt, we're gonna hit a road section. Uh, you ready for it? But, um, yes, but I'll be honest, I think you might have uh, outdone me here a bit already. I think that gravel bike could be a bit better suited. Mate, I'm telling you, every adventure bike should be able to cover long distances. Now, I'm not gonna make you ride 100 miles. Oof. I think we're gonna find out all we need to know in just five. We're okay. gonna see how comfortable it is, how efficient, but more importantly, how fast you are. Ooh. Need for speed. You ready? Let's do it. Mate. Come on, mate, let's hit the asphalt. Come on, then. Oh. Oh. Right, Rich, you ready, mate? You've got your five mile road section ahead. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> on your marks. Get set. Go! Oh, oh, my God. That's all you can do. That's all you got. Go on, Rich. Yes, as Rich mentioned, I think I've got this one in the bag. The gravel bike is great at traveling long distances and being nice and efficient. And I can get aerodynamic because there's a stack of different hand positions I can use. Where poor Rich, why well, he only has one. And the other thing is that while he has a huge range of gears on his mountain bike, my GRX gravel specific group set has two chain rings up front to give me the spread, but with closer ratios so I can find a comfortable cadence as well as having a top gear for the mega speed. So Rich is set off. I'm hoping he's going to be at the finish line. So it's my turn. This way I've got it in the bag. You ready? Beep, 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 beep. Up, because I'm going to be smashing in. Oh my God. All right, I gave it the beans, but I'll be honest, I think Hank, who's no slouch on his uh, gravel bike, is going to pit me on that. It's going to be, uh, yeah, it's an unfair fight, I reckon. Oh my God. Ah. Ah. Oh. I've got to say, though, when the speed gets up, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to seeing the results, but I'm feeling the gravel bike. The Grail is not the mountain bike out of the park. Are we in agreement there? Should we call it the Holy Grail? I think so. I think definitely yeah. the gravel bike and the Grail are perfect for those mile munching. And when the speed gets up, for yep, sure, the gravel bike takes it, doesn't it? You got to remember though, Rich, that speed also translates to efficiency. True. So for mile munching, it's got to be the gravel bike. Fair enough. Right, next challenge. Let's do it. Buff! The results of the road test are as follows. The mountain bike did it in a time of 30 minutes, averaging 16 kilometers per hour. The gravel bike, on the other hand, averaged 20 kilometers per hour, with a time of 24 minutes. Thankfully, Hank, the tarmac has now turned to dirt, and I think it's time for me to start getting my own back of it. <laughs> well, not so fast there, Rich, because this is the terrain the Grail is designed for. I've set out a three-kilometer loop all the way on this fire road, round through the valley behind Ooh. us. Winner takes all, well, not so much, because this is only the second challenge, but I reckon I've got this one. Well, there's only one way to find out, and I think you better go first, then. You, you really want me to go first? I think you should go first. Mate. Good luck. Watch this. Yeah. I'm going to smoke you. You ready then, Hank? Mate. Oh, I was born ready. Right, you're not going to hold me? No. What do you mean? 
We're not racing on the road anymore, mate. Oh gosh, better get clipped in quick. Okay, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Go! Go, oh, oh, it's a slow start. Oh my god. god. <laughs> We're away. <laughs> That's where the gravel is going to make up the time. Well, Hank's already done his run and no doubt he gave it full gas, but he's not here to start me, so I'm going to have to start myself. So, three, two, one. Ah, oh, I'm in the hard gear. Come on. Go on, oh, yeah. Come on, mate. Oh. Oh. Mate, I'm going to be honest, I think I smoked you on that. All right, <laughs> give us a minute. I don't, I don't want to be confident or anything, but um, mm. this is what the grail's made for. The gravel boy's made for this sort of terrain. For I'm gravel? Gonna, yeah. yeah. I reckon we should check the times. Let's have a look at them. Shall I we? mean, yeah. I've been here a while. Get off. <laughs> Get up. How's he like? Right, Rich, I guess it's time I should put you out your misery. Uh, I did our fire road fast gravel section, 3K gravel section, in yeah. 6.57. Ooh. Which is pretty quick. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. Nice one. You, my friend, yeah. did it in 8.42. Oh. Meaning my score goes <laughs> up to two. You smashed me. Again. You're on the big, the big zero. Oh! Mate, it's looking quite likely you might have a dip in that reservoir. <laughs> no! Oh. It's no, no, because the tyres are about to change uh, and we've got some uphill and some technical downhill to come, Hank. And I fancy my chances on those. You reckon? Oh, yeah. Well, that's going to find out. All right, Hank, you pipped me again. I'll give you that, but it was basically just a brown road. What are you on about, mate? That was like six on the Nani scale. Uh, mate, that didn't even register. <laughs> okay, okay, so your full suspension didn't help you go that much faster. And my lightweight and my faster wheels, my more aerodynamic position, oh yeah, and don't forget my narrow gear ratio probably gave me the edge. Very true, very true. But if we were not doing a really long ride, do you not think you might want the sort of the comfort of the full sus or the bigger tyres? Well, I guess it depends on well, how far and how much mileage you want to cover on your adventure, isn't it? Very true. Well, just so happens, Hank, we're rolling down to the very start of the next section, which is going to be a little downhill track. It's going to be a bit more technical. Is it going to be more gnarly, mate? Please stop saying gnarly, mate. It it's... suits me. It's what you understand. Look at it. I, I mean, <laughs> bond dirty and everything. You like Chris <laughs> gnarly. Just stop saying it. <laughs> <laughs> The comeback starts now then, Hank. All praise to my super grippy tyres and suspension giving me extra traction. Yeah, I guess the extra volume too, hey? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And what pressures are you running in yours? Uh, I've got, what, 38? What have you got? 23 up front, about 25 up the back there. Ooh. So, should be plenty of grip for climbing up here. Making sure you have low enough gears is key too. I may not have a double chainring up front, but that doesn't matter because I'm running a 32 tooth single chainring paired with the enormous range of a 1051 cassette out back, giving me huge ratio of gears to choose from to winch up any climb. This also means I don't have to think about chain lines or any kind of shifting other than up or down at the back to keep things nice and simple. Every road rider is looking at you gone out there, Rich. The thought that front derail is confusing and I could run single up front if I wanted to too. You can do that with GRX, but I'd have to go 1142, so not quite the micro climbing gears you'd have. Why would you go for a single ring then? Some gravel bikes, like mountain bikes, can't handle front derailers because of the tire clearance. Others, like you, just love the simplicity, or they want to turn their left shifter into a remote for a dropper post. For everyone else out there, well, there's front derailers. But let's put it to the test, mate. Are you ready? We've got a 200 meter long, technical Oof. uphill steep ascent you go first all right let me know when you're at the top and then time me okay mate let's get it on it. Let's do you do want it. me to hold you or 
No, I'm a mountain biker. What, do you, what you can get clipped in with... OK. I'm not going to topple over. It's not a set of traffic lights. <laughs> right, mate. Are you ready? Look, plus, in the woods, we've got trees. Oh, mega. You ready, painter? I've, I've got my tree to lean on. We're good oh. to go. Beep, 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 beep. OK, beep. let's go. He's off, he's off. I reckon I can run faster than that. Come on, painter. I'm spinning. Come on, use those little micro gears. Whoa. It's got loose. Don't fall. I'm going he's this way. Going. He's still going. He's still going. Come on, mate. No so problem. Five meters to go. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, his legs are going around a cadence of knots. Come on. Right, Rich, count me down. Three, two, one, go. Right, you sent me off. I'm Here off. Comes back. It's like wheel spin. Oh, I'm going to have him. I'm going to have him up here. Oh, oh balls. And balls. Come on, mate. I'm getting it. What are you? You're scooting. Oh sh! What are you? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, Pause. It just looked twitchy as well. Come on, man. <sighs> oh, is he spinning? Whoa. Is he... Whoa. Oh. Oh. He's made it. Nailed it. it. Oh, how was that, mate? Oh, I put the foot down once. Yeah, a little bit of a dab. A little bit of a dab. How are the tyres? Mm, I don't think they're quite as tacky. And I haven't got quite the volume you've got, but nevertheless, it handled it pretty well. I was actually quite surprised. Okay. And I didn't have your micro tiny gears that you've got, so uh, I did have to no. kind of lever it mm. over a little bit. Okay, well, I did it in a 39 seconds, not minutes. 39 seconds, okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah, yeah, you, Hank. Go on. 46. Oh, that's just not too no, bad. Not at all, I mean, not at fair, all. Getting up it. I mean, yeah, it's a true. tough technical descent, and on a gravel bike, I think I think pretty good effort. Okay, Hank, we've just done our little bit of walking along the top. We got to the top of the downhill because what goes up's got to come down. Yeah, mate. Where have you bought me? I'm having flashbacks of an awful descent I did with Neil. <sighs> oh. <yeah. laughs> well, we got to go down, and uh, you know I'm favouring my chances on this one. Should we have a crack? Yeah, I guess adventure, you're not going to find trails everywhere. So I no. guess it's a bit off-piste. Majorly off-piste. Guys, check out this. <laughs> oh, mate. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> right, go on, then, Hank. You go first. Right, send it. I'm hearing some, I'm hearing a lot of noises from Hank back there. I don't know how he's getting on. The mountain bike is coming into our own. Ha! Finish. We just need Hank to catch up now. I don't fancy his chances. It is pretty blooming rough down there. Go on, Hank. I'm good. I'm good. It's all right. Have we stopped the clock yet? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on. Mate, that was hard. You're nearly there. We draw level, mate. <sighs> we draw level. I bond. guess we do. You definitely had me on those last two challenges. I guess that's where your big fat tyres and your mahoosive suspension comes into its own. But that, that's not just rough terrain. That's 10 out of 10 on the gnarly scale. Do you know what? You can finally have your gnarly scale on this one, but I like to think a bit of skill was involved coming down there, mate, I'm afraid. So, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't brag or nothing. Uh, but yeah, definitely, the mountain bike really comes into its own. When we get off the gravel roads and the tarmac, there's no denying the mountain bike has probably got to be better there, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Right, let's get off this Come on, then. terrifying you right, mountain. You right getting down here? No. <laughs> I've, I've done my fair share of falling I, off I, I'll, I'll watch. Gah! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry to all you gravel riders out there. I've let us down over the last two challenges, and I guess my 40 mil tyres 
well, didn't really help an awful lot over that really tough terrain. But what's interesting though, is all the mountain bike tech that has been refined over the years has made its way over to the gravel bike. Disc brakes with Shimano's servo wave tech, the clutch on the rear mech to keep the chain under control on the rough terrain, the ability to ride one by and with super wide cassettes, plus then tubeless tires, even suspension if you want it. Right, Hank, on our trip so far, we haven't come across any proper hiker biking, and I feel like we need to find out which bike does that best. What do you reckon? Mate, I'm totally in. I mean, you've got no chance. My bike's lightweight. It's agile, and I've got the legs for it. Yeah, but they're very short legs. That's the thing. Sorry, mate, I hate to break oh, it to you. <laughs> so, <laughs> what I've done is I've brought us to the middle of the woods, and we've got quite a steep section again ahead of us, and basically it's fastest man who can run to the top with their bike. All right, I'll get my phone out. I should add. Do you want to go first? Loser takes a dip, because we are level pegging. Yes, that is something <laughs> yeah. not to forget. You forgot. It's 2-2, two, two. this is the decider. Winner takes all, or loser Ooh. gets very, very cold. And I also want to know if my turkey no. is still survived. Who's going to get to drink that beer? Or the wine. Right, phone's out, let's do right, this. Right, mate, do you want to go first? I would love to. Okay. Now, it's worth adding quickly that my mountain bike is not particularly ergonomical for carrying up here, so I'm going to run alongside it, and there is definitely a weight penalty over Hank's gravel bike. Hey, but I'm going to give it... Richard, stop complaining. All I hear is excuses. Right, you okay. ready, oh, mate? Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sinking already. Three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh my... Get that tank up there, oh, mate! Oh, my oh, God. he's got no chance. <laughs> Come on, mate. I'm going. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, to be fair, Ollie and Sai couldn't do that. They haven't got the upper body strength, so you're doing well. <laughs> 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 right, you ready to time me? Hang on. He needs a break. I'm going to start low. You, you'll sign now, why? One, go! <laughs> Drop my hike, Mike! Oh Mike, my god! Up. Get him! <laughs> he's like a gazelle! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Go slower, go slower! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss, Come on! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who's done it? Has he done it? <laughs> right. Oh no! Go on, who's getting in the reservoir? You did it in 30.2, I've lost! Oh no! Yes. So we didn't make it to the reservoir, but we're really not that far off. It's literally just slightly upstream. But as we were riding over, we saw this amazing, nice setup that we thought would be great to have mm. our Christmas dinner. And the light is going down. It is, yeah. But what I think is really important is how well the gravel bike coped and how the gravel bike's maturing, which shows a bigger distinction between the mountain bike and the gravel bike. And the tech on the gravel bike makes it perfectly suitable for off-road riding. I guess the only limiting factor is the, well, thin tires. Yeah, to be fair, that thing did handle its own pretty well, but you could tell when the going did get really tough, Hank. You could see the body position of it, the uh, narrower handlebars uh, really weren't helping you. But yeah, like you said, just those narrower, skinnier treaded tires, really when it got rough, bumpy, rocky and rooty were the thing holding you back the most. Yeah, I mean, I did go over the handlebars once or twice, <laughs> didn't I? Maybe thrice. <laughs> so Rich, what is the perfect adventure bike? Well, it's, it's the mountain bike, nah, obviously. Come on, Rich, Blake and Neil aren't here. They don't need to know. Come on. It's a mountain bike, I swear. Do you know what? It's horses for courses, isn't it? If you are going to ride real backcountry, gnarly terrain, that's really tough, steep up and down, then I don't say you're probably going to sway this way slightly towards mm. a mountain bike, but I think for the majority of people and the majority of things that these are meant for bike pack and gravel riding, then that is, despite having two handlebars, great. <laughs> and you've got to remember though, I won the challenge. Uh, so, which you means you still need to get wet in the stream. Ooh. And we also need to start our Christmas dinner. All right, well you get the dinner on, I'll go for a dip. I need to get that turkey <laughs> on. I do need to get that turkey on. Oh, it's getting cold. Oh, mince pies. Oh, stuck. Turkey, Christmas cake. This is a dare, or a bet I'm regretting losing. 
Well, I better get the potatoes on too. Unbelievable. Right there, Rick. Oh, 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 oh. Hank, we got him on mince pies. All right, mate. Just get your turkey on. I'm going in. Oh, 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 oh Hank. Oh. 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 <laughs> Bring the beers, Hank. Cheers, mate. Right. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed uh, me and Hank having a little challenge against each other. Yeah. Thanks to the gravel bike. Cheers. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and let us know what you think in the comment section below. What would you take on an adventure? If, if you are doing it in on you. Come on! Come on! Oh, 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 oh. Oh.